Okay, everybody, it's boot up time. Let's get going. Hustle, hustle. We've got 20 seconds. Come on, motherboard, start booting. Let's go, Ram. Get that memory working. Disk drive, keyboard, mouse. You guys on the field, okay? Everybody set? Now let's go get computing. Go crunch that data. Paul, oh, what's with the coach's outfit? Oh, hey, Gina. Well, when I heard that today's topic was on the BIOS, I thought it'd be cool to dress up like a coach. After all, when you turn on your computer, that's sort of how the BIOS acts. Like a coach. You mean uh, waking up every component, pulling the team together, getting the computer ready for work? Yeah, exactly. Turning that computer from a bunch of cold parts into a team ready for the handoff to the operating system. Go BIOS! <laughs> okay, okay, I get your point, Paul. As Paul was saying, the BIOS, Basic Input Output System, is the software that starts or boots up your computer from either power off or sleep modes. The BIOS provides the processor and other computer components with the instructions needed to start the computer. In fact, the BIOS is the only software in your computer that knows everything about your motherboard. At boot up, the BIOS provides the processor and other components with the instruction set necessary to start the computer. It also lets you set security features, change power management options, and change device settings. When you add or change a device to your computer, like displays, disk drives, and other peripherals, the BIOS ensures that they work together as a team. The BIOS prepares the hardware to run its operating system. Most of the time, it works from the sidelines, and you don't have to do a thing. But every once in a while, you may want to give the BIOS special instructions. It's sort of like giving the coach a new game plan. It may sound complicated, but in fact, it's easy to do. If you built your own computer using Intel's BIOS, just visit our support site for the details. And the really cool thing is that the BIOS does it all. Power up, initialize hardware, hand off to the operating system in about 20 seconds. How's that for a fast drill? Well, that's really fast, all right. And you know what, Paul? It's getting a lot faster. Getting faster? How's that? <laughs> well, about five years ago, Intel recruited a new coach called the EFI BIOS. With a whole bunch of new improved features, the EFI BIOS brings even more power, speed, and performance to your computer. Imagine pressing the on button and your computer goes from off to full power almost instantly. Wow, that's a kick. Sounds like Intel is changing the game again. You bet, especially as more and more computer manufacturers move to the EFI BIOS. Okay, on that winning note, Gina, shall we take some viewer questions? Certainly. Okay, Todd from Morgan Hill, California would like to know, do I ever need to update my BIOS like I update my operating system? New versions of the BIOS often support new features and functions, fix problems, or add more capabilities with certain devices, so sometimes it's a good idea to do the update. If there is a new version, be sure to read the release notes to see what you're getting on the update. On the other hand, if you are happy with the way your computer is running, a BIOS update isn't needed. And here's a question for you, Paul, from Jennifer from Phoenix, Arizona, and she wants to know, why would I need to change my BIOS settings? Excellent question. Well, you change the BIOS when adding certain hardware, setting hardware passwords, changing the time and date, and the boot order. As Gina said, if your computer runs Intel's BIOS, you can visit the Tech 101 support website for details on changing the BIOS settings. I hope that helps you. Well, Gina, I've really had a ball today talking about the BIOS. I've always said you were a team player, Paul. Thanks, Gina. <laughs> I guess that's the way I get my kicks. Go team, go BIOS. Okay, I think we're all out of puns for today. So we'll see you next time on Intel Tech 101. I'm Gina Moore. And I'm Paul Kanan. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>